Hi, I'm Mrs. Jenna Hammond. And I'm Chase. Today we're going to talk about pop art. Pop art. Here are a few facts. Pop art was popular during the 1950s and 1960s, so around, your t around the time your grandparents were kids. It was popular in America and England. Pop artists like Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, David Hockney, and others use basic objects from popular culture, so that's television, magazines, um, advertising, comic strips, to make art that popped. Artists use bright colors and different techniques with painting, drawing, and printmaking to, to create their art around everyday objects. And everything from soup cans to celebrities to sweets were fair game for artworks. Here are some examples of pop art. This is Andy Warhol's soup cans. Here's a painting of Marilyn Monroe. And here's donuts, which is something that we're gonna create art based on today. All of these are by Andy Warhol. Here's a little bit of knowledge about Andy Warhol. He was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 1928, and he was one of America's first pop artists. His mother, an embroiderer and artist, taught Andy how to draw. Here's what he looked like. Okay. Um, so to create your donuts, one great example that we like to work with was creating two circles. So you have a real circle. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect because donuts aren't perfect. The circle inside and then kind of a scribbly circle. And in these pictures, sprinkles were used. We did some donuts with sprinkles too. Chase, can I see yours? I did these sprinkles, and the sprinkles are the pink ones. And why did you use those colors, Chase? Well, because I wanted to make them different so they looked like they popped. Great. I used a lot of bright colors, too, for my donuts. Pinks and yellows, a little bit of red. And Chase and I chose not to, create, to, to cut out the circle of our donuts, but if you want to do yours, you can almost bend the paper to make a nice cut. And we glued ours onto construction paper of a different color so they really popped. What's, what's the most important thing when creating art, Chase? The most important thing is that you should always have fun. So have fun, and we hope that you really um, create some awesome pop art. We're sure you will. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.